The football pride of Dallas ISD, South Oak Cliff, home of the Golden Bears, have made it further in the high school football playoffs than any district team in seven years. This is a huge deal, especially for South Oak Cliff superfans. Our William Joy introduces us to them. Have the flag that we run out, out of the tunnel with. Horace Bradshaw might be South Oak Cliff's biggest fan. I got my son's picture on me and I got a mask. But he should be. I got the, the, the helmet from the 1999 uh, year. He played here, his mom and dad are alums, and his son graduates next year. Representing South Oak Cliff all day long. But he wasn't even alive the last time the team made it this far in the state playoffs. It's been a long time coming for South Oak Cliff. A week after beating 10-time champs Alito, they blew out Lovejoy Saturday, making it to the semifinals for the first time since 1970. Dallas ISD hasn't had a UIL state champ since 1950. Got a good team to get ready for. Ain't no time to celebrate. Got to get back focused. I feel amazing. Like, I, I lost my voice after the game. Brianna Hogg works at SOC and is a secretary of the alumni group. This is legacy. This is history makers. To outsiders, SOC is a Cinderella team trying to avoid midnight, but not here. They thought that because we're an inner city team that we couldn't do it. But guess what? We're showing that the impossible is possible. South Oak Cliff is a community as tight knit as its team. This is a lot for the city of Oak Cliff. Yes, I said the city of Oak Cliff. We're just so happy. The whole, the whole city is just so happy for them. But all bandwagon fans are welcome. Even if you don't bring your own flag. <laughs> In South Oak Cliff. They better get ready. Here we come. I'm William Joy. All right, now, if you can't make it to Abilene Friday night, we've got you covered. We're going to broadcast the game on WFAA.com, the WFAA app via Roku and Amazon Fire TV. A lot of options there. Also on channel 8.2, 8.2, very easy. All right, scan this QR code right now, and it's going to bring you to the page where our broadcast will be Friday night at 730. Don't worry, we've got you covered.